By the way, you probably noticed uh, a few days ago, an owner, trainer, driver from Sweden came to America and bagged the prestigious Hambletonian Trotting Classic at the Meadowlands in New Jersey. So in honor of that accomplishment, Sweden native Camilla Larson, who now is based in Springfield as a trainer driver, parades the field to the post for the sixth race, the review stake, with the old four-wheeled, high-wheeled sulky, which dates back to the 1890s. Here are the starters for the two-year-old Philly Pace in the review. Number one, Life is Just a Dream, owned by John Knight, Edward Franz, Dennis Miller, or Daniel Miller, rather, and Charles Gaeta. David Knight trains, and Dave McGee is in the bike. Two is Katera Hanover, owned by Brian Penske Stable Incorporated by Meinzinger and Samson Street Stable, trained and driven by Brian Penske. Here's the three anniversary, owned by Peter Pan Stables of Pepper Pike, Ohio. Ivan Sugg trains, Dave Pallone is in the bike. Four is Silver Road, owned by Richard Oldfield of Lexington, Kentucky. Dick Oldfield trains, Eric Ledford drives. Five is Spicy Spirit, owned by David Sharp and Jerry Silva of New York, New York, and of Belmore, New York, trained by Joe Anderson. Mike Lachance is up. Six is Roca Suave, owned by Charles and Barbara Kiesler of Fowlerville, Michigan, trained by Charles Kiesler, Tony Morgan in the bike. Seven is Sneakin' Suspicion, owned by John Leahy of Westchester, trained by Joe Anderson. His son, Ryan Anderson, will drive. And number eight, Madam Matthews, owned by White Birch Farm of Allentown, New Jersey, and by Penske Stables of Plato, Minnesota, trained by Brian Penske. The driver is Dean McGee. That's the lineup for the Grand Circuit Review Stake for freshman pacing Phillies. Again, 40 grand on the line. They are three minutes from post. Eighth of a mile from the start. One of these Phillies about to earn a paycheck for $20,000 from that $40,000 purse. The chances for Paniversary have been diminished. She's off stride. Not a typical Dave Pallone kind of day. They're off and pacing. Roca Suave goes out for the lead. Silver Road gets away in second, followed by Life is Just a Dream toward the inside. Then Katera Hanover comes out racing in fourth, heading down to the first turn. Silver Road and Roca Suave contesting the lead. Life is Just a Dream goes third toward the inside. A gap of two to Katera Hanover, who ducks over toward the rail into fourth. Roca Suave settles in now behind the race leader, Silver Road, past the quarter-mile mark. Life is just a dream as waiting in third position at the quarter. Katira Hanover goes fourth, 29-3 and three for that opening panel. And here comes Life is Just a Dream. Moving from third to second, and now she is up to get the lead, heading on to the back stretch. Life is Just a Dream takes over from Silver Road, who's second. Roca Suave is racing in third. Katira Hanover is now fourth for the move up the back stretch. Sneakin' Suspicion is fifth racing seven lengths off the lead, and then a gap of two more lengths back to Spicy Spirit toward the inside, and then Paniversary, who has made up one position since that break, and then Madam Matthews, who now regains the spot, off the half in a minute and one-fifth. Life is just a dream. Leads it by a length and a half at the entry to the far turn. Silver Road goes second, and then Roca Suave, who's inching toward the outside in third. Katira Hanover is next, and here comes Silver Road. Ledford decides to make the move, heading toward the three-quarter. Silver Road gets the lead a half length. Life is just a dream is second. Roca Suave is third on the outside. Gap of two to Katira Hanover. Sneak in suspicion. Spicy Spirit is next. Madam Matthews and Paniversary. Past the three quarters and one thirty and four fifths. Top of the stretch. They're being led by Silver Road, who has it by a length and a half. Roca Suave is next. Then Katira Hanover. Sneak in suspicion. Angles wide for the drive and fourth. But they're coming to the 16th pole. Roca Suave challenging Silver Road. Sneak in suspicion. Then Katira Hanover. Sneak in suspicion. Roca Suave both moving quickly on the outside. Here's the line. Roca Suave got it by a neck over Sneak and Suspicion, who was second. Katira Hanover was third in 158 flat. Ladies and gentlemen, in the winner's circle for today's sixth race, the official winner of the review, uh, review stake for two-year-old pacing Phillies, number six, Roca Suave, Tony Morgan, the winning driver. John Sisna, president of the Review Association, makes the trophy presentation. Charles and Barbara Kiesler of Fowlerville, Michigan, the owners. Charles Kiesler trains. Tony Morgan drives. He's another of those Ohio natives, another of those former National Dash champions that we've talked about so much here today. Caretaker award will go to Barbara Kiesler, who was standing at the head of this horse. Let's talk to, uh, let's talk to Barb Kiesler, the co-owner of this uh, racehorse. 
Also, as I understand, the co-trainer, in a manner of speaking, and you've just got the caretaker medallion. First of all, Barb Kiesler, you and uh, your husband, Charles, we don't really recognize that name too often at the Illinois State Fair. Have you raced here in the past? Yes, we have. And have you been to the Winter Circle in the past? No, sir. Aha, uh -huh. well, that's, that's good to have you here. Tell us about this uh, filly, ninth start of the year, third win. How has it been watching her develop throughout the course of the summer? She's been a real dream up to this point. Uh, she draws just terrible. She's drawn seven holes, nine holes, at, but uh, she gives it all she's got. She has a big heart, and um, she's an Abercrombie out of a Dragon's Lair mirror, and so we're really proud of her. We like her. She's a Kentucky bred and very well bred at that. Will you do us a favor, tell Charles congratulations, and tell all the folks in Fowlerville, Michigan, that their friends at the Illinois State Fair say hello. Thank you very much. That's Barb Kiesler, ladies and gentlemen. She's a winner at the Illinois State Fair.